Go ahead, Jennifer. Um, Namo Shakamani Buddha, Namo Shakamani Buddha, Namo Shakamani Buddha. You need to show that. Go ahead, uh, Diana, show them your snow. Right can now? You? Yeah, can you? Um, let me see. Yeah. I'm on a computer. Yeah, bring the laptop. Is that desktop or laptop? Uh, my MacBook. Give me one yeah. second. Yeah, MacBook, you can show them how snow look like. Emmy, you know how snow look like? You live in Houston, like right, Emmy? I live in Houston. You see snow around? No, it doesn't snow usually. You love snow? Yes, but it doesn't snow that much. Okay. Lina Mai, you live in Houston, right? I don't know. You don't know where you live? She lives in uh, St. Louis. Oh, St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tim Lee, you guys want to see the snow? Who wants to see the snow? Raise your hand. Okay. Good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Vivian, turn on the cam, Vivian. Uh, go okay, ahead, Diana, show them how snow look like. Show them outside them. I'm not sure if we can see it well, but this is just like from my window. That's all? Okay. Vivian, have you seen the snow? No, I haven't seen snow. Okay, let me see here. Okay, uh, let's see here. So in your era, Diana, it's no stop. It's not snowing now, right? Yeah, it stopped a couple of hours ago, but it was a lot a while ago. Okay, good. Let's see here. Ethan, Ethan Wong, you have snow in your area? Ethan, Ethan? Yes, I do. Can you show them how snow look like? Some of your friends in California, in Houston, they don't know... They don't see snow awfully. Yeah, that's nice. That's a lot of snow. Look closer. Right? Um, okay. So can you show one more time? Uh, Ken, show them how snow look like around your house. Ken. Yeah, show them. Show through the window. Don't, you don't need to step out. Just show through the window. So they can see how snow look like. Hmm. I have snow too in my... You want to show? Okay. Yeah, uh, roll in the window so that can see the snow, how snow look like. Can you show it? You want me to show? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll show you. I will show you um, how the snow look like, okay? Can I show you. you the snow? Oh, go ahead. Show them. Show them how snow look like. Um, it's quick. All right. Oh. Oh, Lina. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful, Lina. You play with snow, Lina? Not yet. Not yet. Who, who can make a snowman? You guys know how to make snowman? I know how to make snowman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Tim Lee, you know how to make snowman, right? I know yeah. how to make a snowman, but I haven't tried to make one yet. Get up, Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Um, so Diana, you know how to do what you call skiing, right? Yeah. You I know how? Huh? Yeah, I did it last year. You enjoy? Yeah. In on the snow or on the ski uh, room? In the snow. Ice room, yeah. huh? In snow? Yeah. Wow, that's nice. So if you live in California, if you live in Houston or the hot <laughs> area, you miss the fun, right? Glory, welcome back. Can you show them how snow look like through the window? You don't need to step out. Show them. Show them how snow look like. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, home, you know how snow look like? There's no snow here. You don't know? Okay. I, I know what it looks like. It looks like, it looks like white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so snow is red? It's not red? Not yellow? Not blue? No. Why not? Because it's cold. It is white. Really? So snow is not red? It's not yes. yellow? Yeah, it's not blue? white. It's Why white. Not? There, but there's no snow here. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's funny. So where, where you get snow then? Um, 
home where you get snow. You get snow from from your house. You get snow from the ground. Where do you get the snow? I get snow from the school. From the school, we did an activity. Oh, really? You get snow from the school? Yeah, for, uh -huh. in kinder in kindergarten. In garden. Caitlin, you, where do you, where do you have snow now? Where snow come from, Kin Caitlin? The sky. Really? So can you ask the guy to give you snow any times? Can no. you? Why not? Why not? Oh, okay. Who want to see snow one more time? Who want to see snow? Oh, Linda, my. Who else? Who want to see the snow? Okay, I will show you. Okay, wait for me. Okay. Mm. It's really beautiful out there. Let's see here. Let's see here. If you can, if you guys can see. Okay. Okay. This is my temple. Okay. Let's see here. It's dark. That's What's a nice this? temple. Mm-hmm. If you want to come, you will come to come. Let me show you snow. Let me I live in this. Houston. Yeah. Let's see. Let me open the door. Let's see here. Oh here the snow. You guys can see the snow? See that? Yeah. Yes. The snow there? Oh, sorry. It, it, it's pouring too much. You're in, you're in Kentucky. Yeah. It's snow. Yeah. It's snow on my laptop. It's wet on my laptop. Sorry. I, I like the temple. Oh, you like the temple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys see that? Oh, this is nice, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah, is. Okay, so hi. who can make snowmen? Probably I know how. Can you show? How can you make snowmen? <laughs> how? How, Caitlin Jung? How can you make a snowman, uh, Caitlin Jung? I know I'm how to outside. Huh? I know how to do it. Who? Oh, can you do that? Katie yes. Jung? All right. You can you show tomorrow? All right. You make snowmen and show them tomorrow. Okay. All right. Uh, the yeah. act you do give you snowmen tonight I and show them tomorrow. Huh? I made one today at school. You make it one? Yeah. Do it for them. I, but I don't have any. But I don't have any snow. So how no, can I make this? Why you don't have one? So if you have snow in front of your house. Around your house, you're welcome to to make a snowman for for your friends to see. Who who I can kind of have snowman? This. Who can do a snowman for them to see tomorrow? Not oh. me because I don't have why? snow. Oh, why? Yeah. why my parents doesn't let me go outside because of the cold? Yeah, so ask your parent permission, okay? I can, I can yeah. maybe make it out of these blocks, but I don't think it'll work. Okay. I don't think I'll look. Oh, All right, that's, that's good. Let I, me can, you. I can draw it out of paper. No, that's not the real I'm snow. Doing. I'm talking about real snow. Okay. okay. Let me share with you this clip, okay? Uncle is beyond entitled. Sorry, sorry. I have these two. Sorry, sorry. Let My 16 year old daughter, Nicolette, is extravagant, spoiled, and bratty. Nicolette is beyond entitled. I have these two now wallets. <laughs> Because it really goes with this purse. Dad raised a true Beverly Hills brat. I can say we're quite affluent. My mom raised me with everything I've ever wanted, and she needs to continue. It's the only life I've ever known. Nicolette has always had the best of oh, job. Hi. everything. I went to amazing schools. I had a driver. I had a nanny, personal trainers. At a very young age, Nicolette had her own credit cards with absolutely no credit limit. Some months, her credit card bills would be $10,000. I just paid the bill. Nicolette had an allowance of $5,000 a month to cover her expenses. I love designer clothes and shopping on Rodeo Drive just because it's so fun. I have some $5,000 Chanel bags, a couple of those. This is my favorite bag. It's a Celine micro luggage tote. I keep it on a chair because it's just so special. It's about $3,000 and I literally think of it as my own child. I have a Gucci bag right here. It's about $3,000. In the past year, I probably have given her about $100,000. I don't even keep track anymore. These are my my favorite pair of heels. They're Valentinos. I love them so much. I really like this piece. It's Louis Vuitton. I know I'm a spoiled brat, but I enjoy the lifestyle, you know? People are gonna hate on me, but they wish they were me. I realized I had to start cutting back because this is really out of control. That went over just like a ton of bricks. Now my spending allowance per month is $1,000. I feel like a peasant. I 
can't live like this anymore. I'm always out of money. If you ask me, I think my mom should be giving me at least 2500 a month just to cover my basic expenses. I need money to buy clothes. I need money to buy shoes. My mom just doesn't get it. She'll blow through $1,000 a week and then tell me that she's broke and she needs more money. When my mom refuses to give me money, I make her life a living hell. I have my ways. My daughter totally guilt trips me. I just don't want to deal with the drama. So I just give in and give my bratty daughter everything she wants. My mom refers to me as a Beverly Hills brat. It's true. I'm a brat. And I'm not. Okay. Diana, can you summarize what's that about? Yeah. So there's this teenage girl and she has always grew up with everything she wanted. And she um, had like a $10,000 allowance, I think, a week or a month. So she was super spoiled and she got used to it. So she would take advantage of it. And she started acting like a brat and she would spend money on like purses and things that she didn't need. And um, when her parents, when her mom started to take those things away, she still got $1,000 a week, but she said that she was living like a peasant and that that wasn't enough. And she was just really spoiled and bratty. What do you think about that lady? Uh, I think she's really like super spoiled and she's really ungrateful. Why is that? Because $1,000 a week I think is still a lot, especially if she's like 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think, uh, uh, Vivian? Vivian, where are you? Are you there, Vivian? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, uh, Sophia. Uh, did you watch the uh, video clips I showed them yesterday, or you were not here yesterday? I wasn't here yesterday. Uh, okay, uh, Diana, tell, oh, Glory. So what do you think about that lady compared with the poor children that you saw yesterday? She's really spoiled and buys things that she doesn't need. Okay, Vivian, you watched the video clips, right, Vivian? Yeah. So how... How could you compare this lady to the poor children in Vietnam? Um, the poor children, even I feel like even though they didn't have much, they were grateful for what they had. But this girl, she's just spending her mother's money without even showing any gratitude. And even though she might be rich, it doesn't mean that she like has the happiness because she's always unsatisfied with everything. For the other kids, even though they might be poor, they still have like friends and family to hang out with. Mm -hmm. Who has a law allowance every day here? I know what you has allowance. No, no allowance. No. I don't. I don't want to be rich. Oh, you don't want to be rich? Yeah. No, I do not want to. So what do you want to be? You want to be um, billionaire? So you don't want to be rich, but you want to be billionaire. Why is that? Why is that? You don't want to watch a billionaire? Yeah. yeah. Explain to her. What's a billionaire and, and millionaires? They, she doesn't understand. It's someone who has more than a billion dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's see. No, I don't want to be more. I just want to be less. Oh, good then. Good for you. So, Diana, suppose that your parents give you $10,000 per week. What should you do with the mo that money then? Um, I would probably just save it, like maybe when I'm older for college and use some of it to donate to charities and homeless. And mm -hmm. like sometimes um, I, when I got money, uh, I would use it to buy diapers and milk. And then we sent it over to Vietnam for the kids with no parents. Good. Sophia, suppose that your parents rich right they give you ten thousand dollar for your allowance weekly what, sh what should you do with that ten thousand dollar there sophia i would donate a lot of it for like poor people in mm -hmm. my charity so they get to have like needs and stuff that they need to survive mm -hmm. okay you know uh let's put this this way 
uh, one dollar here, right? It's equivalent to twenty-two thousand dong in Vietnam. And let's see here. Let's uh, who who can understand? I don't know whether Queen Queen is here. She's not. Mm. Okay. So Diana, so you know that for one dollar here in Vietnam, you can buy a lot of meal. You can buy buy a lot of food. You know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and how much do you spend for, um, let's say for your shoe? For my shoe? Yeah, you spend for your shoe. How much is that? Mm, maybe like 40 to 80. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, so Caitlin Jung, suppose that your parents give you $10,000 $10, per month uh, for, uh, for, yeah, for a week. What should you do with that money? I would give it back. I yeah, didn't want to use them all. Hey, Vivian, what do you think? Why do $10,000? Yeah, if your parents uh, um, give you that much of money, what should you do then? What should you do with the, with the money? You go to shopping like that lady or what, you, what should you do? Um... I would, I would try to help like homeless shelters by mm. buying stuff and donating it to them. Okay. And Ten thousand dollars would probably be enough to like help out someone. Mm -hmm. Like for example, like pay their rent for a month so like they won't be homeless. Mm -hmm. And you know, remember yesterday I told you that some student in Vietnam, their parents so poor that they may not have enough money to pay for tuition. When they go to school, like your age, they have to pay, the parents have to pay for the tuition, not free like here. Some parents, right? Uh, let's say Vivian, remember, you taught, you taught them last uh, Saturday, some of them yeah. may not have enough money to pay for tuition, and they are in danger of being dropped out, they've been kicked out of the school because not, uh, of, uh, not enough, having enough money to pay the tuition. You are right. really doing well so, until I do it. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, okay, Patrick, Patrick Doe, let's say if your parents uh, give you $10,000 for allowance per month, what should you do that much of money, Patrick? Uh, uh, I could not hear you much. How about Michelle? What should you do with that much money for ten thousand dollars per month or per week? Um, first of all, I would um, donate half of it to temples, and then donate, um, and then buy buy food and clothes for some homeless people, and and give them a job application. Mm hmm. Wow, that's nice, Ken. What happened if your parents give you that much of money, ten thousand dollar per week? What should you do with what are you going to do with that money? Uh, I'll try to donate to any charities I can find, or if there isn't any, then I'll probably keep it for college. Really, you don't want to go yeah. to to have some, uh, brand new car, brand new iPhone, brand new, and so forth. You don't want to, no, why not? Um, I only, I'll, if I do have to use it, I won't use it in one day. I'll try to be like, I'll try to be wise and choose what I need and then whatever I want, um, I won't use so much money. Mm -hmm. Jason, suppose that your parents give you that much of money, $10,000 per week. What should you do, Jason, with that money, Jason? I like resources. Uh, people like um, the poor and so you don't want to use them all for your um, brand new iPhone, brand new car, brand new um, a laptop and so forth, brand new clothes? No. No? Okay. Well, how about you, um, Katrin though? What should you do? Hello, the camera, Katrin though. What should you do without $10,000 per month for the book? Katrin Doe, can turn on the cam. <laughs> mm. Yeah, what should you do with that much of money? I would give some to my family and give it to the poor people. 
But your parents give to you then. You don't need to pay for them. You don't need to give to them. They have plenty of money then. What should you do with that? Would you buy brand new uh, clothes, brand new shoe, brand new app, iPad, laptop, and so forth for yourself? Ty, I might want to buy a big house. Big house? Okay. Yeah. Big house with $10,000? No, you may not. All right. All right. So you see that? All right. So... Diana, can you um, summarize what was the point here to compare with that lady, the one who's who's so sported and uh, the poor children in Vietnam? What 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 happened in then? Um, you shouldn't be like as spoiled as her, and you should try to be grateful and spend your money wisely. And she like never thanked her mom for giving her that much money or any money at all. So you should always be grateful and thank your mm -hmm. parents or whoever is watching you um, for like money or like anything that they give you. Mm -hmm. And say, let's say if in future, if you were Bill, Bill Gates, you have billion or trillion dollars. So how much do you give to your children? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give them as much as that lady gave her daughter because then she grew up to be spoiled. Mm -hmm. So maybe like a weekly allowance, but not a thousand. Really? Even you are a trillionaires? No, maybe if she earns it. Oh, you earn that? How? Explain to them how, how could they earn that? If they had good behavior, if they mm -hmm. were respectful, if they did chores or if they got good grades. Oh, wow. That's good. All right, that's good. Uh, that's all for me today. So re please remember, all right? Even your parents give you uh, some kind of allowance. Think about the poor children, unf unfortunate children, uh, people uh, surround you like homeless, uh, people in Vietnam and so forth. Use them in the wise way so that you can drape more blessing for you, okay? All right, you'll go ahead, take your part, please. Hello, everyone. How are you? Okay. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, so that's good. I like uh, uh, right, so, let's, so the first word from... Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, let's do the meditation. Meditation. Um... Uh, Michelle, can you tell them what should we do when we do the meditation? When we do the meditation, we have to keep our back straight. We do not follow our monkey mind. Um, we should always count our breath when you breathe in and then breathe out. That's one, and then we keep doing that until, until like, until the timer ends. Then like. If your monkey mind comes, you will have, and you lose count of your counting, you you have to start from one again. Okay, if you, uh, from the, if you uh, see your monkey mind, right, go back to your inhale and exhale. Okay, all right. One, two, three, start it. Sit still and blow <coughs> your eye on. All right, who want to tell me how many? Okay, Diana, uh, Leanne, Lena. one. Okay, all right, good. Who want to tell me next? 
Another one? Emmy? Any? 19. Jennifer? And uh, Justin? Miss 29. Okay, good. Let me show you the movie again. We continue on the movie. And you remember what kind of movie are we, uh, what we were watching? The girl with the thousand money. No, 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 no. I mean, yesterday, what movie we are, uh, what do we remember the Bodhisattva, the Buddha? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Michelle, what kind of movie will we have, we have watched uh, so far? Um, I think it was the, the one that was talking about um, a Buddha. So uh, what, uh, what is the movie about, you know? Um... I don't really remember. You don't really remember. Oh my goodness. All right. So this movie that uh, the Buddha, Sakyamuni Buddha, <coughs> give the prediction, give the prediction that in the future there will be the next Buddha called Maitreya uh, Buddha. And uh, right now Maitreya Buddha is in the Tushita uh, heaven. And this is, we are watching the Tushita heaven. This is the palace that um, inside the, the Tushita heaven. Uh, so uh, a lot of uh, heaven beings, that means the God, they, uh, they uh, make the vow and they will uh, um, decorate the, 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 the heaven palace in many different ways based on their vow. Um, so they um, support the... Um, the future Buddha, and um, later on, uh, uh, maybe after many million years, the Bodhisattva Maitreya will come down to earth, and he will become the next Buddha, okay? We call the Maitreya Buddha. Um, so a lot of people want to be born into his uh, Buddha land right now, so we will see it. Uh, actually, Bodhisattva. Land. All right. You're on. 16 million. 800,000 years. I can never anal uh, an analyze all. Uh, Vivian, can you uh, pay attention to the movie? Can I summarize at the end? Vivian? Vivian? Can you hear me? Uh, Vivian, are you there? Okay, Diana, can you? Not really good at this video. Okay. All karmas of Maitreya, and those doing the ten positive actions in detail. I just explained them briefly here. If any of the bhikkhu, bhikkhuni, or the public are not tired of samasara in three realms, aspire after life in Asgard. Supreme enlightenment and desire to be disciples of my Terra Buddha Bodhisattva. They do not have to rush away from worries in three realms, but strive to practice five precepts and eight passes of fast. Complete ordination and ten positive actions. Then they should contemplate the love. Fantastic to see us in the practice to come. Okay, so time is running out. So let me quickly come right here. So basically, the Buddha said that uh, if anyone who wants to, uh, to, uh, be born into the um, uh, Maitreya Bodhisattva Tushiba heaven and later on come down when he become the Buddha and come down to help the living being to, um, to uh, free from our suffering. Okay, then um, they should make the vow to be born in there and uh, follow the Bodhisattva to become his disciple. That means to become his student and to um, to um, to uh, together with him when he come down to become the Buddha and uh, help the Buddha to, uh, to stress the Buddha's teaching, to uh, 
help the living being to uh, free from our suffering. Okay. And um, okay, tomorrow we will see how do we going to be born into the uh, the land. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Please turn on the cam. Wow, this is the thing I told you guys every day. Please turn on the cam. Many of you have not turned on the cam. Right? Ivan, Dylan, even Ethan, David. Oh, so many of you have not turned on the cam. Please do so. Right? So that you can uh, talk with your tutor. Okay. And yeah. And that's okay. And listen to your tutor. Okay. All right. All right. Let me... Let me count from one to three and you guys can log in, okay? Yeah, Vivian, we don't have Tung here, so please um, uh, help out, I think, number three, right? Yeah. All right, let me count from one to three. If I mess up your room, just let me know, okay? Let's see. Where's Vivian? Uh, Tudor, let's see here. All right, one, two, and three, go.